Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Seth and welcome back to another video guide for Cyberpunk 2077. In this video, I'm going to show you everything that you need to know with regards to getting the Caliburn, which is the basically the equivalent of the Bugatti Sharon Veyron in the game. It is the fastest car that you can get, whilst it does not handle uh, all that great and the braking is awful on it it is a free car that you can pick up really early in the game uh, however there is a thing that you need to do before you get to the location you will need to complete the mission ghost town now this is a very early mission basically once you've uh completed the prologue just do the first two three sets of missions you will then get the uh ghost town mission uh, and then once you've done that what you need to do is wait for about 24 hours and then go back to the cave location where the mission took place now once you've done that all of the npcs that you killed during the mission will not be there however there will be a container and in that container there will be some easter eggs and a car and i say easter eggs because well a easter egg because the car itself is a bit of an easter egg and uh that is because of course it is a reference to the dark knight so we're just going to pick up a car make our way to that location we've already uh i think I've, I've waited 24 hours so i'll just pick up a random car from this location and i'll show you how to get there also there's a vendor right there that you can go to I'm just trying to decide what to do i'm probably going to go and get a car from the road I don't know if I have the skills to actually break into those, to be fairly honest. I normally like to save up my points and uh, use them if I need them only. Uh, it's a bit annoying because sometimes these cars don't really spawn. They do uh, spawn in, in the distance, but then despawn. So we'll just pick up this car because this is what we have on offer right now. So, yep, you I can get this guy someone? out. And then we will drive to the location on the map. So it is the exact same cave where you did that before, that mission before, with the ghost town. It doesn't matter what end you come from, it is a tunnel. So it makes not a little bit of difference. Now, I know I'm not showing the map location just yet, it's because I've not got there. But when I do get to the location, I will show you where I am on the map. You want to be careful around this area, we don't really want to upset these guys right now. Uh, we are a bit low level right here. Ooh. Somebody noticed us. Ooh. Okay, this car isn't all that great. I'm just trying to get the heck out of here before they start shooting at me. Yeah, we don't really want to get into trouble right now. We're just looking after uh, getting ourselves uh, or our hands on, on some wonderful goodies. And this car is one of them. Whoop. There's a cave right there. My driving is terrible in the game, to be fairly honest. So we're just going to wait here. Uh, this is the entrance into the cave. So you can come from either end. It makes no difference. Uh, this is just basically a tunnel. And in there, within 24 hours after completing the Ghost Town mission, you can go in and get the caliber. Now, uh, I will kind of show what you can find around because there are some items and there is a very little interesting and fun easter egg uh, i like the fact that it is a reference to the dark knight so we've done that you know what i'll do another day just because so we're gonna go in as you will see there's nothing really bad to worry about and if you haven't picked up items i think you might still potentially uh oh when you did the mission you might still potentially be able to pick them up but i think i was fairly thorough and picked up most of the things so i'm not really gonna bother uh, it depends uh what side you come from because it will look a bit different you can already see that on the marker we get the icon for the car so there is the container it should be open and that is the car right there it is a black car and i do like the color black so we're scanning the area just to show you that there are some things that you want to look out for there is some legendary stuff there are some different um quality items that you can loot so might as well loot it so we're gonna go and have a look at the car we're gonna have a look at the things that you can find here this is as i said also a bit of an easter egg so this is the car itself really nice we got a grenade there over here we get a nice t-shirt and it is a legendary item so might as well pick it up and you can of course upgrade it we've got some more ammunition in this box right here 
Well, that is pretty cool. Just uh, kind of show you. So it is a flashbang grenade. But this is where the Easter egg is. We're going to open up the message, and it reads as follows. Don't be afraid. There's nothing there. That's what they always told me. But the night my parents were murdered, I knew I had seen something in the dark of that night. I searched for it a long time, cloaked myself in the darkness, learning it, understanding it, merging with it. I realized in the depths where the light cannot escape, there was only one thing to fear, myself. I became the shadow. I became vengeance. I became the man Night City doesn't deserve. I became Merkman. So that, of course, is a clear but fun reference to Batman, particularly the Dark Knight. I mean, uh, you know, it refers to becoming the man that Night City doesn't deserve but needs. So very, very nice. I like that. So it does kind of uh, make this vehicle interesting, special, I would say, just because of this little Easter egg. Definitely worth picking up. And... Uh, you know, apart from just playing the game and doing the main mission, you don't really need to do much of anything. You just need to return to this location after you've completed the mission. I like the fact that it's all in black and it doesn't have any funky colors going on it. Now, it is the fastest car in the game as far as I know. Uh, but with speed, you sacrifice maneuverability. So trying to take a corner really quick does not work out really well on this car. And neither does the brakes on it. I mean... Yeah, trying to stop from uh, going really fast is a bit of a challenge. It's fun to drive. It's uh, a good car. It is the fastest car. Just, uh, you know, there are other cars, I would say, better in the game. But it is a free car, so beggars cannot be choosers. Definitely worth picking this up. Now, of course, there is a variation of this car in the game that you can buy when you have the funds. And it is fairly expensive. I believe it costs somewhere around 150 eddies. But uh, why pay money for it when you can get it for free? And personally speaking, I'm not really a fan of the color combinations on the cars. So the fact that this is black is actually quite nice. We're going to switch it to daytime so you guys can actually see what this car looks like. I think it is beautiful. I like I like the details to it. It's definitely a gorgeous looking car. It sounds really amazing and it is ridiculously fast in a straight line. Um, doesn't like to turn very well, but we'll just find a place to come to a stop and then we'll have a good look around it. I haven't crashed it yet, so that's good. So there we go. Get a good look around it. I really like how beautiful this car is. So there's a lot of detail on it. It does look like a hypercar. It sounds like a hypercar. It's as fast as a hypercar should be. And uh, if, if you want, you can always open up the back. Of course, you will just have access to the engine bay. So you don't really have a spot to store your stuff which is a bit disappointing i'd say it'd be nice to have an area to store things but it is a free car so there's no complaining for it also the interior of the car looks really sweet i really like the way it looks on the inside it does look like a beautiful car and i wouldn't mind being in a car with this kind of cockpit. I, I'm honestly liking the way it looks. It's simple, but it has a lot going for it in terms of design and shape. And you can see the inspiration off of Bugatti on the inside. With that being said, that is pretty much it for this video, folks. I do hope that you have enjoyed it and found it useful and informative. If you have, please do not forget to support me and the channel by hitting that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already for more similar content from myself. And if you have just subscribed, why not check out some of my other videos and guides here on this channel. Who knows, you might just enjoy them. And of course, for those interested, you can always find me on the Sethtopia Discord. Links to this, of course, you can find down below in the video's description. And until next time, stay safe, folks.